Yo, what's good, y'all? Welcome or welcome back to Billy Goat's Prophetic Vessel. It's your girl, Billy Goat, and we got a message for you. <laughs> Please remember to take what resonates and leave the rest behind. I do not choose the storyline. The Holy Spirit does. I do not choose the cards that come out. The Holy Spirit does, okay? These are timeless readings, all right? So regardless of when you're seeing this, years after it came out, months, days, weeks, it does not matter. Whenever the Holy Spirit leads you to the message or have you be a messenger to someone else in his name, the Holy Spirit will lead you to it, okay? This is for my Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Nodes, and Chosen Ones, all right? Welcome to the family. <laughs> And if you want to uh, check out your other placements, feel free to check out your uh, moon, your rising, your north node, so on and so forth on our Zodiac Collective channel, Don Juan Spiritual Guidance. That link is linked in the description box, okay? All right. Holy Spirit. Whoever's on Capricorn and the Chosen One's minds right now, you know, whoever's on their mind, what do they want to say to them? What do they want to say? What do they want to say? What do they want to say? This is hard. So being away from you is so hard for this, this person or people here. And I say people because we, we, God does not discriminate against love. Okay. So we welcome monogamy, poly, LGBTQIA+. Plus, this is a safe and sacred space. And if you don't like it, you can take a gift of free will and fuck out of here. Okay. Thank you. Um, I don't know what I want. So it's, it's like it's hard because it's like they want you all right and for some of you guys you could be in separation right now and it's just like this is hard being in separation is hard but also at the same time somebody doesn't know what they want and or this could have been what happened for some of you all right like this could have been one of the culprits of why there's a separation for those that are in separation okay whether this is you or whoever you're dealing with here all right, because you got to remember both sides when I saw cross watchers watching. <laughs> so put yourself on the side of the story, okay? And flip the energies as you see fit here. And if you want to get more insight on your personal situation or situations, okay? Feel free to book a personal reading via the website link that's linked in the description box. DonJuanSpiritualGuidance.com. It is the only way to book a reading with us, okay? But there is a love reading sale going on for Halloween. All right, check out the community board post for details on that for those that are interested, okay? But y'all, this, this is not cute because who wants to like deal with an energy that's so indecisive? It's like if you can't just choose, you know, like for example, it's like a person putting you in competition because they don't know what they want. That's not fair. That's not what anybody deserves. You either pick who you want or say you want to be single. Okay? You don't want somebody bad enough if you have to sit there and play any, mini money mo. All right? You, see, you deserve better. Somebody knows you deserve better. But look, they want to talk. Somebody wants to talk. Bye bye. And it's so funny, y'all. Go watch that last reading if you haven't watched it. It's it's titled um, "They Were Disloyal," okay? Because th in that reading, somebody wanted to talk too, okay? I have a crush on you. <sighs> but it's like, okay, but do you know how to treat somebody though? You know. I feel like a failure because they feel like they didn't do right by you, you know? They feel like they didn't protect you. They didn't feel, they feel like they didn't protect this connection. Okay? They made you feel like they were happier without you. And I'm hearing that's not true. That's the mask that they decided to wear. I'm hearing, honestly, I really love you. I'm hearing love does not come easy for me. Be strong. Okay? This person or people left you in positions where you had to defend yourself. You had to be strong. Okay? Put you in very unfair situations. Look, forgive me. So, this person or people here want forgiveness or cross-watcher, you know. 
your Capricorn or a chosen one want forgiveness. Flip, flip your energies as you see fit, okay? And they want to talk to you. So when they talk to you, they may ask you like, hey, you know, I'm sorry about this, 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 that, and the third. But also at the same time, you know, changed behavior is the best apology, okay? Like, yes, acknowledging and taking accountability is definitely a start. But also at the same time, it also doesn't mean much if you're going to do the same shit again right so why don't you show me as well how sorry you are and not just when you want to consistently again change behavior is the best apology all right and not just any change behavior healthy okay no time for distractions okay so you know you you're, you're working on yourself all right look i am watching you so watch you through your social media working on yourself especially if you you the type to post what you're doing and stuff it's like oh who they with what they got going on or even if you not it's making them more curious like why they not posting who they talking to that they staying so so long away from me or you know things of that nature for some of you guys you have to walk away or this person or people ghost at you I wish things were different between us. Mm -hmm. I'm hearing like I want to hold you. I want to kiss you. I want to make love to you. Ooh, okay. This is the end. So, oh, look, y'all. We have I'm jealous. So, they feel like this is the end because this book also could have broke something up here or caused some rift if it didn't break something up jealousy and don't get me wrong it happens to people but it's how you handle it right are you going to be spiteful and vengeful with your jealousy or are you going to transmute that energy in an inspiration and go after it is what you want right there's a piece of the pie for everyone yeah, so it's like this person or people could have came off as jealous, but we have here like I've changed my mind, you know, I feel left out now. But it's like, what? Did you heal the reason why you was jealous in the first place? That's why I say change behavior. Because you're going to come back and do what? The same shit? Just a different day? I think not. You know? I, I just, I think not. Don't nobody want to deal with that bullshit? Look. I'm no good for you. I see you in my dream. So you guys could be seeing this energy, um, you know, in your dreams, they are in the spiritual realm. But it's like, you know, we will meet again. So they feel like, you know, you guys are going to, to leave. But here's my problem. Your overall theme is why did you have to go? And if you have to ask why, and you can't see your behaviors. Not saying that both parties or all parties are innocent. Everybody has their bullshit th that they got to heal, right? But if you can't take accountability for your shit, why would anybody want to be with you? Nobody wants to be with somebody that don't take accountability for their shit. But you can do everything else. You can ask for sex. You can, you know, play games. You can make time for what you want to make time for. But when it really comes for something serious, you want to play around. Why are you even in a connection? Why aren't you by yourself? Why aren't you, why aren't you single playing the field if that's what you want to do? You know, but. It's like, if you have to ask, why did you go? Who wants to put up with that shit? Nobody wants to put up with a cheater. Nobody wants to put up with a liar. Nobody wants to put up with a gaslighter. Nobody wants to put up with anybody that's controlling, manipulative, uh, criticizing. Nobody wants to put up with anybody that's abusive, okay? That's childish. And there's a difference between being childish and being childlike, okay? Like, if you're going to play games, be single. Date as many people as you want, but don't drag anybody down with you doing that bullshit just because you don't know how to love. That's not fair. And if you have kids, you wouldn't want anybody doing that to them. Not no real parent. But it starts with you. Okay? Like, don't nobody want to deal with that. But they feel like they're going to, you know, you guys are going to meet again. And don't get me wrong, people do, people can change and things of that nature, but they have to choose to, they have to want to, they have to take the time to unlearn, heal, reparent themselves, and then operate with the new healed wounds. 
And nobody can fix that except the person who got traumatized. Okay? They have to heal. And again, they have to want to, choose to. You can't force it and you can't fix them. Okay? So, you know, it's going to be up to you. They do want to talk. Um, you know, and don't get me wrong, maybe there could be some miscommunication that happens too, you know, where there's some uncertainty, okay, uh, possibly, which can also lead to assumptions, which can be bad too, um, especially with things that may not have happened versus what actually did. So, I mean, for some of you guys, you could be clearing some things up or receiving some sort of, um, you know, clarity or providing some sort of clarity if you do decide to talk because it's, you know, it's up to you. Okay. But it does look like this energy knows that you deserve better. Um, because they know they made you feel like they were happier without you. Now, cross watcher, you know, whatever the case may be, flip the energies as you fit, fit, see fit. This is how you, this is how you made somebody feel. Okay. Um, however, somebody's, you know, they're wishing that things were different, but the problem is, is that the damage has already been done. So it's going to be up to you. All right. So thank you all for your love and support here. It is truly, truly appreciated. And always remember you make your own decisions. Peace out. Deuces.